or part three. And what we're going to do is tell your story. And one of the key elements of telling your story is to be able to know the difference between before the person had the problem, when they used to be someone who had a problem, when they were in a state where they had a problem, or using past tense language, and now at the point where they're starting to learn, really learn, and really learning how easy it is to learn new skills easily. So that in the future it will be possible for them to really be in a really, really positive state where they achieve all their goals and will do so easily using future tense language. So moving to the uh, board here, uh, there are certain language patterns that are particularly useful for telling stories. And they tend to be the more hypnotic language patterns like embedded commands. So, did you notice how easy it is to learn now? It's a good example of embedded commands. Normalizations would be fat words where the people have to do lots of, the person who's listening to the story has to do lots of interpretation. So you know it's like to have loads of motivation and confidence, where you have the feeling that everything's working perfectly. It's a good example of normalizations and also on specified verbs and lack of referential index. So you all know how to learn. This is a great example of an unspecified verb where all the details are left out. Uh, people can learn easily. It's a great example of lack of referential impact. The more abstract and general you make the language and the metaphor, the more that the person who's listening has to fill in the gaps in order to be able to make sense out of it. This is great for talking to big groups so that you can include large numbers of people who know easily what it's like to get really lots of motivation and to really find out how learning is so easy the more that you learn, the more easy you become. Uh, quotes is a useful pattern to be able to use a metaphor so that you can have someone else in the story, another character. Like Richard Bandler said to me once, in order to learn NLP, you really need to practice, 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 practice easily. And let go of the temptation to learn the theories and just learn how to practice, 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 practice. Uh, and selectional restriction violation also seems to be a useful pattern. So that, just like in cartoons, you can have talking rocks. And the rock sitting in the corner of the room said to me, relax deeper. As the more you relax deeply, the easier it becomes to be almost still like a rock. You know how rocks have that certain quality, and the rock said to me, it's good to be still, and just to stay here, rooted to the spot, until the point where you start to realize something really of value. Once you've made that realization, it's possible to walk along the plank. The plank of possibility said to me, keep moving in this direction because each step that you take, the more that you practice, the easier it will be to practice more easily. And the more easy it becomes to practice, the easier it will be to gently slide along the plank of possibilities. And the more that you slide along the plank of possibilities, the more it gets wider and wider and wider and wider. So it comes to the point where it will be totally open as the sun at the end of the plank of possibilities smiled gently on the group and said everything really will be great once you've really practiced you will practice you will practice these skills more and the more you practice the more you will learn all the wonderful things that are useful to know about how to develop and grow and grow so that, just like the sun comes down from the sky, and the rain to nurture all the plants in the ground, so the rock can eventually split and reveal the jewel that's on the inside. And anchors may also be used to <laughs> the Uh, and also, it's also possible to use either over or covert strategies. So a very overt strategy would be to use um, analogies. So today, I was working with this group of fresh young graduates, fresh off their training. They just completed three years of being trained in the skills of life. 
and they were ready to move on to the next step in their journey. But they weren't quite sure how easy it would be. And they hadn't yet learned what it is that will be really useful about how to practice, 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 practice the skills of opening up those senses and noticing all the opportunities to be really influential in the wonderful world of opportunities that lies at the end of the plank of possibilities. Or alternatively, <laughs> covert strategies. Once upon a time, I knew a rock. A wise, wise, wise old rock. It stood at the bottom of the river bank, just so alone. It was covered in moss. And then one day, a little otter swam to the bottom, gave it a gentle nudge, and it started to roll and roll and roll along the bottom of the bed until it got to the point where it realised that all the moss had gone. <laughs> uh, the next level of going further into this would be to go into a fairy tale if we haven't gone, if we haven't gone there already. Uh, so once upon a time, there was a little rock. That's, that was a fairy tale anyway. So we're there. The next level there would be to go into hypnosis. And of course hypnosis is just a way of helping people to relax more deeply and go into that laugh to trance. Because the more that you laugh and have fun, the easier it becomes to learn how easy it is to become even more abused at all the things that are amusing. And all the possibilities that are lying there right in front of you. And people can learn how to find these possibilities so easily. And the more they look, the more they find. And the more they find, the more they look. Almost like opening the big, big book. And the big, big book is where the pen mysteriously writes. Although it's impossible to see who is the author. Until you realise who it might be. And then we can get even deeper into stacking realities, which is where you start to stack different realities once upon top of the other. So I remember today, early on this morning, I woke up thinking, I wonder what it would be like to be a person of value. Someone who would really value the things that are really important. And that reminds me of when I met the man from Yosushi, Simon Woodruff. And Simon Woodruff said to me, do you know that if you take all of this practice, 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 practice and break it into single steps, then each and every day you can take a step on each of those steps. By the time you've stepped on 90 steps, and that reminds me of Michael Neal. And Michael Neal came up with this great idea. This great idea is to write down 100 things that you could do starting with number one and then number two and all the way to 99 and then to 100. And you can take each and every one of those steps and start to put them on each of these 90 days that Simon said. And Simon said, put your hands on your head and then you'll learn how easy it is to practice. And as Simon said, put your hands on your head, that reminded me of just this morning where I started to consider what it would be like to be a person of value. And of course, being a person of value would simply be a person who found stories so valuable that they realised how important it would be to practice, 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 how easy it would be to tell stories, because that would be a simply a way of entrancing people into a world of new possibilities, where the sun will come down from the shine, and shine on the bottom of the river, where the sleeping star woke up and went, hey, it's time to learn really learn something new. So that's really just a simple gan canter through each and every one of the steps of telling metaphors just for me and for you. So I'm just curious to know if that would be so, if there were any questions that you might have that might help you to learn, really, really learn how easy it is to tell these stories once you let go of all the limitations and just let whatever comes out just come out easily. <coughs>